Located on the island of Sicily in southern Italy, Mount Etna is Europe's largest and most active volcano. With an impressive height of approximately 10,825 feet, 3,300 meters, it dominates the region's landscape and has been the stage for countless eruptions throughout history. This constant activity has transformed Etna into a true natural laboratory for scientists and a world-renowned tourist attraction. But this giant doesn't live on beauty alone. Its power also inspires respect and continuous attention from authorities. Historically, Etna has exhibited activity cycles that vary from moderate explosions to intense and dangerous events. Recently, the volcano has erupted again, with lava flows streaming down the slopes and jets of fire illuminating the night sky. Local authorities have restricted visitor access to areas above 8,200 feet 2, meters, for safety reasons. This measure proved necessary after increased seismic activity and the detection of concerning signals in monitoring systems. Among these signals, one of the most disturbing is the emergence of a fissure on the volcano's flank. Images captured by drones and tourists clearly show a crack opening on Etna's slope. And this is not a simple geological detail. It may be the harbinger of something greater. Fissures like this indicate that the ground is suffering deformations, which, in many cases, precede major eruptions or landslides. It's worth remembering that part of Etna is already in motion, slowly sliding toward the sea. This process has been monitored by specialists for years, and raises concerns about the possibility of more severe collapses. In extreme situations, as seen in regions of Alaska, Norway, and Switzerland, this type of instability can even generate tsunamis. Therefore, the appearance of the new crack sounds a red alert. Even with the ongoing eruption, volcanic tremors continue and are becoming more intense. The combination of growing seismic activity and ground deformation suggests that Etna may still surprise us. And what most concerns specialists now is exactly this. Could this fissure be the beginning of a major transformation in the volcano? The recently observed crack formed in an area called Subterminal, just below Etna's summit cones. More precisely, near the Baca Nuova crater at almost 9,843 feet, 3,000 meters altitude. This is significant because this region concentrates much of the volcano's accumulated energy, being one of the most critical points for possible flank eruptions. And when we speak of flank eruptions, we're referring to those that don't occur directly at the summit, but on the mountain's sides, which can represent even greater risks due to their unpredictability. Ground deformation in this part of the volcano indicates internal movement that may be linked to magma intrusion. This means volcanic material is accumulating below the surface, pressuring surrounding rocks until causing cracks. The presence of this fissure may be a direct response to this pressure increase. According to specialists, this underground pressure can evolve rapidly, initiating stronger eruptive episodes or even structural collapses in the volcano. At the same time, Drone images captured lava flows emerging from different openings, with magma rivers descending the slopes and branching in multiple directions. The most advanced fronts reached about 7,546 feet 2, meters, altitude, indicating considerable expansion of activity. Even the highest craters, above 9,843 feet 3, meters, continue feeding these flows with intensity. Meanwhile, Italian authorities have raised the alert level for Etna. The F1 code, recently issued by Italy's Civil Protection Agency, reinforces that the situation requires doubled caution. This means visitors, residents, and tourists should avoid areas near the summit. An increase to F2 level, like what happened in June, may indicate the imminence of pyroclastic flows, clouds of incandescent rock and ash that rapidly descend the slopes and can be fatal. Even with this new eruptive phase, there has been a slight reduction in seismic activity in recent days which, at first glance, might seem like a good sign. However, specialists warn that this calm may be only temporary. In volcanoes like Etna, it's common for moments of apparent tranquility to precede paroxysmal events, extremely violent explosions that release accumulated energy suddenly and unpredictably. These paroxysmal events, which have been observed several times at Etna, are characterized by intense and sudden explosions. During these phases, the volcano can launch lava fountains dozens of meters high, release large ash columns, and project incandescent fragments such as lapilli and volcanic bombs at high speed. One of the most feared risks is that these rocks, often the size of soccer balls, hit areas where there are tourists or workers, which has already caused accidents in previous eruptions. 
Impressive images have already shown hikers being surprised by ash clouds and fragments while walking on Etna slopes. In these cases, the speed of launched materials makes it practically impossible to escape unharmed. The White Island episode in New Zealand is constantly remembered by specialists as an alert to the dangers of these events, even when the volcano appears to be in normal activity. At Etna, this type of activity is more common than imagined. It's precisely this characteristic of Etna, its erratic and cyclical behavior, that makes its surveillance so challenging. The volcano usually goes through different phases during the same eruptive cycle. It begins with light activity, intensifies rapidly, and can reach a critical point with lava fountains and pyroclastic flows, then return to a calmer stage. The presence of the current crack, however, may represent a break in this pattern, signaling even greater instability. Etna's Volcanological Observatory, linked to the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, recently confirmed that strombolian activity continues in the summit's southeast, with intermittent explosions and ash emission. The altitude of recorded lava flows, combined with variation in tremor intensity and infrasonic signals, demonstrates that the situation is still very dynamic. These signals indicate that magma continues moving underground and constantly feeding eruptions. Even without a clear prediction of what may happen in the coming hours or days, the current scenario requires extreme caution. The combination of persistent tremors, ground deformations, and visible signs of magma accumulation keeps the scientific community on maximum alert. The emergence of new fissures or sudden increase in activity can occur at any moment, transforming what is today a natural spectacle into a high-risk event for all those around Etna. While scientists monitor every detail of volcanic activity, Sicily residents and visitors begin to show concern about Etna's growing instability. The presence of the new fissure, signs of underground pressure, and constant ground movement point to an instability phase that deserves total attention. Although nature follows its own rhythm, it's up to us to be prepared and informed about every change that could directly affect surrounding populations. Specialists continue reinforcing that, although it's not possible to predict precisely what will happen, all indications point to a real possibility of more intense events in coming weeks. Surveillance remains constant, with state-of-the-art equipment being used to capture seismic signals, deformations, and new emissions. In a volcano like Etna, where everything can change in a matter of hours, Real-time monitoring is fundamental to ensure safety and anticipate possible scenarios. Meanwhile, the international scientific community closely follows the evolution of volcanic activity. Researchers from around the world analyze data emitted by INGV and local observation stations, seeking to understand how magma is behaving and which areas are most vulnerable. The study of Etna also contributes to improving understanding of other active volcanoes around the planet, making each discovery an important piece in the terrestrial geodynamics puzzle. For those living in Sicily or visiting the region, this is a time for caution and respect. Nature shows us, once again, its strength and complexity. And while many observe from afar, others daily live the experience of being at the foot of one of the world's most active volcanoes. Etna's beauty fascinates, but also demands responsibility. The best way to appreciate this spectacle is safely following local authorities' guidelines and avoiding risk areas. If you enjoyed this content and want to follow everything about the world's most active volcanoes, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss any updates. Leave your like, share the video with those who are also interested in geology and natural disasters, and comment below, do you believe Etna is about to enter a new explosive phase? Your opinion is very important. See you in the next video.